Peking Opera is recognized as China's national opera. Based on Pi Huang tunes, it incorporates various Chinese opera formats, including Kun Chu opera. In the mid-19th century, the coalescent performing art of Peking opera, which integrates singing, reciting, dancing and martial arts, finally came into being. One milestone on this path was the entry of the four great Anhui troops into Beijing in 1790. Peking Opera has well-established standards and forms for its music, script, performance and stage design. It can be performed in various rhythms, such as free rhythm, adagio, moderato, allegro and smooth rhythm. Major accompanying instruments for Wan Chang or non-martial plays are strings like Jinghu, Yuexin and Xianzi, supplemented by pipes like Suona and Dizi. In contrast, percussion instruments including Bangu, Daluo, Xiaoluo and Naobo are used for Wu Chang or plays which have a martial theme. Rhyme is of great importance in the singing and reciting of Peking opera. There exists a strict set of rules of libretto composition based on the official language of the Ming and Qing dynasties and the Beijing dialect. The performance of Peking opera is characterized by its exaggerated and symbolic style. Transition in time and space can be freely yet fully represented by the performance, the costumes, the props and the music. Costume and headdress are both delicate yet also flamboyant. Facial makeup highlights the character's personality and social identity with exaggerated symbols, patterns and colors. Peking Opera features four major types of performers, namely the Shang, the main male role, Dan, any female role, Jing, the painted face male role, and Chou, the male clown role. These, in turn, can be further divided into subtypes based on age and profession. Singing and dancing are equally important for Peking Opera. Performers have to follow the established format of movements of hands, eyes, body and feet, as well as integrating their own feelings. There are over 30 schools of Peking opera and repertoires of each are still being performed today. Performance style named after Mei Lan Fang, the founder of the Mei School of Peking Opera, is regarded as the most representative of China's opera performance styles.
tradition and innovation are both highly valued. Today, Peking Opera is still being passed down from generation to generation by oral teaching, which inspires true understanding within. Many young people are trained by their elder relatives at home or by teachers at school. There are over 3,000 Peking Opera plays, about 400 of which are still regularly staged. They tell stories about history and social and family life. Being informative and entertaining, Peking Opera is enjoyed by people of all social classes. As the torchbearers and practitioners of the art, China's Peking Opera troops are continuously collecting traditional plays and compiling new ones, all the while enriching content and performance techniques. Social awareness of the art has been raised through tours, on-campus shows and international exchanges. Peking Opera is performed not only on the stage, but also in parks, backyards and living rooms. And of course, there are audio and video recordings. Peking Opera is an integral part of life for a large number of amateur performers and fans. The general public has greatly contributed to its inheritance and development. Peking Opera has become a cultural bond linking Chinese people both at home and abroad. It helps to strengthen cultural identity. Peking Opera can enhance world cultural diversity and promote the public's understanding of traditional culture and its respect for classic art. The Peking Opera Steering Committee has been established by China's Ministry of Culture to safeguard Peking Opera with supportive policies. In recent years, over 500 hours of selected videos of China's Peking Opera have been recorded and published, where the essence of traditional Peking Opera has been comprehensively documented. In 2006, Peking Opera was included amongst the first group of national intangible cultural heritage to be listed. By 2008, 15 Peking Opera arias had been included in the textbooks for elementary and high school students by China's Ministry of Education. Peking Opera, a precious heritage and classic art form, represents the highest level of traditional Chinese operas and expresses the aesthetic ideals of the Chinese nation. It is a precious, intangible cultural heritage of all humanity.